A preschool in Summers that's been educating children for more than half a century was forced to close because of the COVID crisis. But now local parents are asking the public to help them reopen. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzannan has the story. Meet Lucy. She's three years old, lives in Summers, and is the kind of kid who is ready for just about anything. Don't believe me? Ask her mom. She is outgoing. Um, she is fun. She is outspoken. And she just has an enthusiasm for other people and for experiences that is just really fun to be around. Lucy's mom, Tracy Pell, knew early on last year that her daughter was ready for school. And Tracy had the perfect spot in mind. The same place she attended as a little girl, not all that long ago, Summer's Cooperative Preschool. I had great memories of Summer's Cooperative Preschool. It's just one of those things that when you think about it, you have an overall feeling of warmth. The school is located inside Summer's Congregational Church, but has no religious affiliation. Unfortunately, though, shortly before Lucy's scheduled first day, school leaders made the difficult decision to remain closed due to COVID concerns. She unfortunately has missed a year of preschool. Um, so, you know, we've done some work together at home, and I'm really hoping that next year she'll be able to attend as a four-year-old. But unfortunately, it's not a sure thing. COVID safety regulations forced the school to cut enrollment by 20%, which has created financial difficulties. So now school leaders are asking the public to help. We are hoping that things change. If they don't change, that is what we're looking for from the community is to kind of help us carry through. People can donate by visiting the school's website. The good news is the response has been great. And Tracy, who is the new board president, is optimistic that this fall, Lucy will be able to attend the school she loves. It's just great to see how people value education, value the community uh, feel of the school. In Summers, Roger Susannan, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.